Meriden College is a K-12 school that's about 300 kilometres east of Perth. So we're in the wheat belt, so it's a farming community, mostly wheat and sheep. Farming kids, services kids, and then we get kids coming in from the mines. I feel like you're laughing. Meriden College is a teacher development school for digital technologies and part of being part of that process means you actually get to explore the innovation partnership as well. Let's adapt it and make it. It was really a mystery for us for the first six months I think about where we were going to end up and I think that actually has to be part of the process because if you already know where you're going when you first start it means you haven't actually taken into account any of the thoughts of and feelings of the students and the staff. And it's really not until you've gathered that ethnographic data that you can actually start to have a bit of a view of where you want to go. Connection, engagement, and seeing what opportunities were available wider than our community. Those really came out as being the three areas from our ethnographic data gathering. Our case for change is that the world our students are going into is very different to the ones we're currently living in and we need to make sure that they're, they're prepared for that. I think our aha moment really was when we were talking about, okay, how, how can we move our kids beyond the classroom? And we were thinking about things that we'd already done, you know, Skyping other schools. But then when people started to kind of mention the virtual realities and we were kind of thinking, oh, that sounds interesting. How do we do that? And then, you know, we had this little team that kind of went off and did some research on it and had a bit of a play with it and came back. And we were like, oh my goodness, this could actually be really fantastic for our kids. You can move the market closer. It actually didn't take anything out of um, what would be normal teaching. It enriched what we were doing by adding another element. So this is an angel fish. Once you have your case for change, that's what you're actually using to sell your program. So when we went to our staff, we had to say, this is why we want to introduce virtual realities into your classroom. It's not just because it's a gimmick, it's because it's actually going to move kids beyond merit and show them what's available to them. But at the same time, we're going to hit those engagement things that we're all concerned about. What did you think you would hear? The leads rustling. I like the talking aspect of it because it helps me connect with my group or my desk partner and like compare ideas with each other. The wonderful thing about the Innovation Partnership is that you're not just working in your school, you're actually getting information from a whole range of schools as well. And that was what was the best part of the program for us. Students are saying, you know, we want to travel to here, we want to see these things. Isn't this an interesting career that I've never kind of thought about? So we're going to stop through our exhibition. It's a wonderful process. I have to say it's probably one of the best processes we've gone through because it gives you an idea about design thinking and you're not just creating that case for change, you're also creating stories along the way and you're doing these case studies on individual kids. Teachers are in the job because they care about kids, so when they hear these more personal stories, I think it has a really big impact on them. We actually have schools, you know, schools from all over the state calling us now and asking us how we've gone through this and how we do it. We feel really hopeful that um, we're going to keep keep kind of tracking in that direction, that we're, we're going to continue looking at how we can make things better, how we can improve things for our kids and how how we can make sure our kids are prepared for the world that they're going into.